about is how do we really build neighbors and how do we build this fabric of what we call America and it's really through neighbors and home ownership. So we're really excited to have them here and really celebrate them. If you don't mind, we'll begin with a quick word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for life, health, and strength, Dear Heavenly Father. We ask you just to continue to bless these two families, Dear Heavenly Father, as they make their way into home ownership, Dear Heavenly Father. We ask you just to put a special blessing on this block, Dear Heavenly Father, a special blessing on this family, Dear Heavenly Father. It's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Can you spell your name? First and last name, please. E R N E S T. Last name Coney, C-O-N-E-Y. Just really quickly, a little bit about the CDC of Tampa. Um, the CDC of Tampa was started in 1992. This is our 29th year. And over those years, we built over 120 single family homes like you see here today. We built over 350 multifamily units. And we've also helped to create more than 1,000 homeowners through home buyer education. What we really want to do is create economic opportunities. We want to help people find jobs to be able to buy a home to become strong neighbors. That's the cycle that we want to be able to have here in East Tampa. Today, one out of every four black persons lives in East Tampa through home ownership. We're helping to add to that legacy. We know the disparities that we have from home ownership as well as wealth. Today, we have two people who are being introduced to asset accumulation. So we're really excited about that. Um, so with that, I'll bring up the mayor. All right. This is, uh, this is a glorious day yeah, here in East yeah, Tampa, yeah. without a doubt, yes. Uh, you know, as Ernest uh, alluded to, East Tampa is one of our historic neighborhoods. African American majority, and it really is a neighborhood that is growing and, and uh, being successful and thriving here. And we're doing that in part through home ownership. And affordable housing, as everyone knows, is one of the tenets of our administration. Looking at housing affordability, workforce housing, uh, transportation, ensuring people have the transportation needs uh, to get to high paying jobs. And then lastly, workforce development. Making sure everyone has the opportunity at those high paying jobs with, that will allow them to afford a home in any neighborhood that they want to live in. And also to echo Ernest talking about that generational wealth building. We all know the way that that begins is through home ownership. And that is still the American dream. Everyone wants to own their own home and take that pride in ownership, <coughs> raise the family there and pass that on to future generations as well. So this is an exciting day, not only for East Tampa and for the families, but also for the entire city of Tampa. And we are doing everything that we can in partnership with Representative Diane Hart, in partnership with our city council, all of the individuals in Hillsborough County and the entire Tampa Bay area working in partnership to do everything that we can to make housing affordable and ensure that people can own their own home in the neighborhood that they want to live in. So this is a great day in Tampa Bay. And thank you, Ernest. Thank you, CDC. I see everyone around here. Thank you, Vanessa, for all that you did in working towards uh, making houses affordable and available to our community as well. So thank you, Ernest. Thank you, Mayor. We still live in Tampa Bay. Let's right, let's wrap it up. We have one of the greatest mayors across the United States. But we also have other fighters here as well. None other than our very own representative, Diane Hart. I bring you greetings from the Florida House of Representatives. This is my district, House District 61. Ernest, I am so grateful for all of the homes that you all have built. I served on Ernest's board of directors when Chloe was the director. And you know, I know what you all do. And it's a blessing to my church family. I did not realize it until just today that we attend the same church. But it's because of people like you and CDC that we are able to do this. So I'll go back to Tallahassee to continue to fight Ernest for that Sadowski Housing Trust yes. Fund. Dollars, those are the dollars that we need to make these dreams come true for many of our families. So thank you so much for having me here today. I'm grateful to be a part of this event. Thank you, Rep. Hart, for all the hard work that you do. 
So we just had a great mayor. We just had another strong representative, and none other than our local champion as well, <laughs> Councilman Orlando Goose. Yeah. Well, it's not about me. Sean, come here, please. Come, come, come. Richard, come. Never be afraid of success. You did what you needed to do. Your job now is to tell others, to empower others. You hear me talk about economic empowerment all the time. You two are going to be the catalyst again to bring others to the table, to show them the fight. It, it can be done. It takes hard work. But with you two spreading the message, just like Miss Diane Hart said, see, I know you. I remember when you had that blue little uniform over <laughs> in Tampa Housing, working in security, and living over there in Belmont. So I understand you did this day. It's an emotional day for her. For Maritza, too. Economic empowerment is the catalyst for what we have to do. And my fellow colleagues and the mayor, our goal is housing right now. We know that that is the need. I don't believe in that gentrification because now what I see now in East Tampa, the homes that are being built and the rehab that we're going to start doing, I see two African American young ladies living in these homes. And that's what our goal is to keep people here in our community, to make them strong. So, on behalf of my friends, that are my city council members, we say thank you, God bless you. If you need me, my office, you got to go. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Goods. So we also have um, a couple of representatives as well. As well. We have Ella Coffey, who's here representing Senator Roussan. We also have um, Dwayne Mallory representing U.S. Yay! 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 I want to bring brief greetings from the Congresswoman. Uh, she is in Washington right now fighting the good fight, but on behalf of her office, congratulations, uh, CDC of Tampa, for all you do to uplift East Tampa and congratulate the homeowners because there's nothing like home ownership. It's something that you can call your own now. So on behalf of Congresswoman Kathy Castor and the constituents of the 14th Congressional District, this is also the Congresswoman's District, we congratulate the CDC of Tampa and the homeowners. Thank you. So just in closing, two other quick things. Um, Think about home ownership and what it meant for you growing up. We see, you know, two kids on one side, two kids on another side. Some of my best friends growing up were the people who stayed right next door to me. We became best friends. We went to the same schools, middle school, high school, and today we're still all the best of friends because we grew up together. What that will begin to mean for these families as they become neighbors. I think about the aspirational goals that I began to dream while I was sitting there. I was thinking about going to college, and I asked my mother, what should I write about on my college application? She said, write about family. So at the dining room table, I wrote my application and talked about the importance of family. I had the opportunity to go on to Dartmouth College. Our kids will begin to incubate businesses, aspirational goals, and dreams right here in these homes. As you see, we have the next Miss President of the United States <laughs> right here. So again, we want to thank the families bless the families. So now we'll have a, a quick ribbon cutting, so we invite the families and um, all of our speakers to come behind us to do a ribbon cutting. We're gonna pay homeowners. She said she didn't want to. They didn't want to.